the Be Easy Podcast. We here. First episode, I'd like to thank myself. I'd like to thank everybody else as well. And also, God, shout out everybody who's actually trying to follow their dreams. Everybody who's actually doing things and just want to grow, man. We here. I like to talk about rap, travel, art, health, and wealth. Pretty much everything around the globe, our economy. Talk about ways to help us better ourselves financially, spiritually, and also physically. You got to work out, right? Friends don't let friends skip leg day. But yeah, man, we here. First episode, man. A lot of things that I want to talk about today. It's going to be by myself because it's the first episode, but in the future episodes, I will have co-hosts and things like that coming up and showing you guys exactly what it took for them to actually succeed in life. I got realtors coming up. I have people who have created their own podcast coming up. I have people who's literally doctors, lawyers, PhD people, um, just people, spiritually people as well, too. Um, artists, up and coming rappers, Sacramento, Bay Area. It's a lot of people on my list, man, definitely. And a lot of people that's watching this probably know that they're next. So shout out to everybody, all the future guests right now. But I just want to really tell you guys, like, the best thing for me or the best thing that's been happening to me lately is reading books, self help books, self awareness, just being more disciplined with myself because I know sometimes we can just smoke a blunt, smoke a wood, play the video game, playing Call of Duty. You know, one la- one match is like 30 minutes. So I knock out like, you knock out or shit. I be knocking out like hours at a time. So some hours at a time can definitely help you out to do something else, learn a skill or learn a new eating habit or something like that. So I just try to be wiser with my time because I felt like I feel like now time is more valuable than money as you grow older. You understand the value of a dollar. You understand exactly like economy wise, man, like I wasn't this smart with my money financially two years ago. It's just the people that I was around was actually letting me know what's the difference for buying a lease or what's the difference of buying a car or why would you buy a property? Why would you not buy a property? Like different people taught me different things and I learned from other people's mistakes as well. Seeing people blowing money or seeing people actually going for an idea, but it didn't pan out to what they thought it was. But, you know, it comes with the game. Everybody fell at something, you know, like Jordan had to fail so many times for him to get where he was at, like. He didn't make his first NBA championships like six years after he got in the league. Think about that for a second. He had to wait just to catch a dynasty with the Bulls. So sometimes, bro, you just got to wait. You got to mold yourself into a person. And just don't never fucking stop, man. The bigger the risk, the bigger the fucking win. So I learned that the higher you climb, the better the view. I remember I was talking to this old, old guy. He ain't that old. He like 55. You know, he ain't that old. But he told me, like, either you work on your dreams or someone will pay you minimum to work on theirs. Simple as that. So ever since then, I've been like, uh, I got to work on my own goals. What's working for me? What's beneficial for me? I don't take nothing personal. It's just business at the end of the day. Nothing personal. So I just try to work on my goals, man, my dreams, and just stick to it. Just really, really stick to it. The self-help books that help me out to grow to the person that I'm becoming is definitely Think and Grow Rich. That's like Napoleon Hill. Zach Ziggler, motivational type, you know. Um, I definitely like that. Rick Ross book, Boss Up. It just teaches you how to be in the boss mind frame, how to look at every situation with details and actually be who you say you are. 
Um, the other one is that Goins book. I think it was some like Can't Hurt Me. Yeah, Can't Hurt Me. So that was definitely dope. He's just like super critical of just following your dreams and just not giving giving up. He ran a marathon with his fucking both his legs fucking broken, like literally. And he's still running. So check him out, man. That's it. Sometimes we be making life a little bit harder than what it needs to be. Just because we just be doing it because we just, it's just human nature. Try to take yourself out the picture and look at the picture itself. You know what it takes for a star to shine? A whole lot of darkness. You got to stand on your word like your mind is a magnet. Don't talk bad on yourself. Like your subconscious don't know when you're kidding. Like your subconscious is like real deal. Like. If you tell yourself that you're not shit, your subconscious like, I'm not shit. Let me do not shit shit. Like, you're supposed to always think in your head, like, bro, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. Even now, I'm like, shit, this got to work because this is how I'm paying bills. People look up to me. This got to work. I rap. I do music. I cut hair. I do it all, like, bro, like, it got to work. Like, something got to work. That's all. That's how I really feel about life. You just got to do it. Don't give a fuck what it is. Just do it. Um, But on another note, Miles beat the Blazers. Now, that was a good game. The Blazers was trying to come, but the Miles was tearing them apart. That was top five favorite teams right now because it's switch, like, it's the Clippers. You know, I go with the Clippers all day. I like the Bulls now. Um, the Bulls definitely been showing out. For me, I felt like they was. Um, I don't know. I don't want to say them, so I'm going to skip that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip that. You don't never know with them guys. You never know with Nets. You don't never know. Sometimes, you know, Kyrie might come out, shoot 40. Sometimes they might both. KD and Kyrie come out, then they both shoot 20 together. Like, you don't know. So, but that game is very entertaining. I'm liking Phoenix. Definitely liking Phoenix. Book had been going crazy. Um, Paul got hurt. So, that was crazy. I'm I'm still rocking with Phoenix, though. I'm liking the Mavericks, like I just said. Luka, that man was going for 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. 30. That man was going crazy. Luca was going crazy. Definitely, definitely Luca. And the last team. Man. Fuck it, I'm going to say it. Sacramento Kings. Hunter. He's been going crazy. Somebody gave him Mike Bibby playbook and like, ah, just, just shoot the ball, bro. He's been clowning. Definitely. He's been clowning on stores. He's definitely somebody. He's Look out for him. Hunter, look out for him. He outside. He outside. They got that purple beam now. So every time they catch a catch a W, they shoot the beam up. Scotty beam me up. That's gonna do. I think they play the Lakers tonight. They play the Lakers tonight. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they do. And it's the King. So hey, take that. The Lakers not been looking so good, man. They just got a new head coach. So. Hey, you never know. Never know. But boxing, this is where I love to come in and it's to drop my two cents. We had a nice boxing match last night. We had, we had some great fights. We had some great fights. Um, the one that I was watching and the one that I that stood out to me the most was Love versus Sparks. Everybody know Montana Love. They, he nice. He got that 140 division. He was, it was nice. Um, second round, he got dropped by Sparks, and everybody was like, what the? And he was the underdog on that fight, so whoever took that fight, I know y'all got paid. Whoever took that fight to go below under under six, I know y'all got paid, too. Y'all got paid. I did not take it. I, I ain't bet that day. But um, Montana Love, they was fighting. He got dropped in the second round. He got back up. And Montana Love. He, he switched stands a little bit, or he came to his stands and got head-butted in the middle of the class. He kind of got scraped right there. So that's like, hey, you got a minute to duel it out, you know? 
So after that, they was just going at it, bing, bow, bing, bow. And then he got hit. He clenched up. And they kind of like grabbed him, like rammed him, then grabbed him. And then they got in like a little scuffle. But then it's like he was moving his hand back to like throw the little right jab, but it was behind his neck. He then sparks them, flew over the ring. He landed on his feet and everything. Um, but it was just crazy. They disqualified Montana for that. That's his second loss. His whole corner was just pissed. That was like, what the fuck? But you seen it though. Like Sparks was, he was throwing the motherfuckers. He was putting them poop poppers on them. But Montana was just like everything. Wouldn't even phase him after he got dropped. He was still back into it. Um, nice footwork from both of them. I like how Sparks he switched so quickly and counter like he was. He was. He was working. Uh, but that's that fight definitely surprised me. Um, another fight was Ricky Haddon and Antonio. Yeah, Ricky Haddon, he had that one-two step back. He had that wop wop. And, you know, it came back, and he was really, really, it looked like him. He was older, of course, but it definitely looked like Ricky Haddon in the in the ring. He was moving and still moving and with that quick right hand. But Antonio was nice, too. He still had that long left hook. Like, Antonio was nice. Don't sleep on Antonio. He definitely nice. Um, it was a good fight, good pace. Win nice for eight rounds. Get that for the sport of boxing. That was definitely dope. It's a lot of different other fights that I hope get made. I know they just dropped the news on the Ryan and Tank fight. They said it's not going to happen, which was crazy because it was a lot of build up. Earl Spence supposed to be fighting Thurman. I don't really see the benefit of fighting Thurman, even though, you know, one point Simon, he used to be the shit back in the day. Uh, I don't think Earl Spencer really gained too much from this fight, honestly. Now, Terrence Crawford, he got a fight dude over there in Russia. He got some power. I think Terrence still going to knock him out. Just knock him out. I want to say knock him out by like the 10th round, though. That's what I'm guessing, though. If I put my money on this, definitely knock him out before the 10th round all day. Um... Yeah, man. I just want one of them to fight Boots. Yeah, I just want them to fight Boots. I already knew Devin Hanley was going to knock out, I mean, beat Cambosa. I already knew that. It was just, like, obvious. But, yeah, man. Hopefully, come back. Now, Cambosa and Roley, that'll be a good match. That'll be a good match. Cruz and Shakur, though, that's going to be a great match. But I already know Shakur going to win. Um, Shakur, too, technical for him, but he's a technician. Cruz, he a pit bull. Mainly and Shakur, go at it. I feel like it's due. I, I want to see them more than I want to see Devin and Tank. Them, too. Because we're going to really see what Devin going to bring. Couple gems I want to leave you guys before we leave because it's almost reaching 20 minutes. The mind is a magnet. The biggest risk is not taking no risk at all. Don't be stuck in a box. Watch out for your comfort zone. Always have patience with yourself. And never let nobody tell you different of yourself. As my mom always say, they might be listening, but they ain't paying attention. You hear me? We out. Be Easy Podcast. It's been a pleasure. Your host, Be Easy Will.